party for donations. I already took eight or nine drum liners. Now I'm going through my stuff. That was just yours. And no. Just through the house. Wow. Yeah. There's going to be some lucky people out there. space up here in a Dodge Promaster gives you a lot of store space but it's kind of ugly and uh, being in the furniture industry and design we really didn't like that so what we did was take this Trisha Yearwood front that's on the drawers underneath our sink cabinets and then do a piano hinge underneath the left side is stationary but the right side is where we store everything got some great towels are kind of those microfiber towels that are real thin that dry you off. Got my spot right over here. Hang that right there and let that dry out. You can see how now we have access to this. Don't tell anybody, but I think we have some toilet paper up there. And then we just use the same type of latch hinges that we've used throughout the build. So we had to have a good way to turn our inverter on and off, but I didn't want to have the kind of garage end intrude on the aesthetics of the build. So Andrew came up with a great idea and put a champagne cork in. What's the name of that? Moet and Shannon. Moet and Shannon. Yeah. We also added a great little box here for extra storage for those types of things that you need when you're accessing the sink, like your toothbrush, kind of like a medicine cabinet, I guess and a small mirror up top here, and a little storage for kind of office type supplies so we can operate from our table that we have behind us here. Just add Netflix and a Pepsi or a Coke, whatever you like. A lot of people don't have a microwave in their van builds, and I don't understand that. It seems to me the most efficient way to heat up things like water and make popcorn. Get our specialty popcorn bowls. Appetit. Enjoy the movie, y'all. I have to show you this pan. In the van when you cook, it's a lot different than cooking in a regular kitchen because it's smaller and you don't have as many burners. You just have one burner. Some have two, but I have one. And I came across this pan that has a divider and it is awesome. This is going to be my new favorite pan because you can cook two different things in this pan and not have to worry about things seeping in and, you know, mixing. I don't like that. I, I usually separate my stuff. So this is going to be the thing. So we're in the van. We're thinking we're all stealth. And then I go outside to go to Walmart to go pick up something for breakfast for the next morning. And I come back to the van and I see the top of the Max fan it's open. The lights are on in here. You can't see anything from outside because we've got it all covered up so good in here and there's no windows. But right out the top you can see this glow. It's pretty obvious that somebody's in here. So we got this great thing with Reflectix on the back and kind of a polyester foam top on it. It looks like lamb's wool. And 
we just stick it right up in there and friction holds it in place. It does two things. It also insulates it as well as hiding any of the interior lighting from escaping out of the van so people know that you're in there. When we put shelves up, this is going to be tied back. We'll have these baskets here that will go on top of there and get strapped down and have canned goods. And there's another shelf back there and that'll have more baskets on it. talk toilet but we're going composting style toilet because I didn't want a black tank to carry around all that with me all the time so we'll have a bucket and we'll have a urine diverter and it'll sit right on top of that we'll show you more of that later So rather than having a big information center here, we just simply took a iPad from Verizon and connected to their network. And we're able to get on Waze that way. And uh, so when we travel, we can punch it in, the coordinates and everything. We know right where we're going. Here is the Holy Grail passenger side armrest. If you got a ProMaster, you know what this is. This is what you can't get on a ProMaster. So I bought it through this company Gen Sales, and I'm gonna have to devise a bracket so mama can not have to put her arms down by her side like a kid standing in a corner so she can be comfortable just like me. This one has a nice armrest, but if you look at this seat, nothing, no armrest. Another great tip. I'm in the furniture business, so I love using these uh, furniture drops to put on the ground. They're padded, and these blankets really make it nice when you're laying on concrete in 90 degrees. Coming down from the sink, going through a P-trap. In this case, I figured out how to do it with PVC, and that looked pretty good. And then that goes up down there. Now, I am a novice plumber for sure salesman by trade so you know <laughs> I'm sure there's some plumbers out here that could probably have done that a little differently but it doesn't matter it holds water and works great so that is done I love the uh, ball valve that you see at the end there very nice you want to hit this button that releases the ball valve and lets any of the gray water exit the vehicle I want to show you from the back van what the air conditioning unit looks like. Obviously you can't see anything. When you open this up, I had a nice gap here, which is hard to get at. You can see that this closes right in. On that. And that drives it up because this area here goes right up under here. And these sides insulate it so it ramps right up and over into the bed. Cool me down into the fan. Also, to be real stealth, um, we've added an outdoor 110 plug-in um, that was mounted on the lower part of the bumper. It really comes out nice and clean. We did it in matte black also, so it's very hard to tell it's even there. So if we're somewhere we can plug in, we just plug in right there switch over our internal electronics uh, and uh, run off shore power. What do you think, Mama? Yep. Now let's rock out. Let's rock it out. We're going to play some tunes, so we got to turn you off because YouTube doesn't like when you play. What were you listening to? Sammy Hagar? Yes. <laughs> Heavy metal. Yes. Sorry you can't hear what we're going to hear. Yeah. Talk to you later.
right, looking forward to the special event. Hey guys, good morning. I just wanted to thank you again for watching our videos and if you haven't already subscribed, smash that button and uh, ring that little bell so you know when we're going to put up another video. And if you like the video, just give it a thumbs up. That always helps too.